guys, it's Alex here. Thank you for checking out another one of my videos. And today I wanted to try something a little bit different. Obviously you saw the practice day footage. I want to take you guys through the race day footage and tell you guys what I thought about each individual race. I wanted to do it at the track, but it ended up not working out because the 14 plus moto and the 258 motos were really close together. And it, we also were parked really close to the track, so it was really loud there. So I uploaded the motos yesterday. If you want to watch them before listening to me talk about them, make sure to go check it out. I'll leave a link to the playlist that I'm putting them in in the description. So yeah, let's get right into it. My first 14 plus moto, I came in very nervous because it was the first race of the year and there was a lot of people there, a lot of fast guys that I didn't even know. So I was getting, I got arm pump pretty much instantly. I was not able to ride like myself. Actually, my first two motos were pretty bad. I just wore myself out. I wasn't able to ride to my abilities and that's reflected in my result. I ended up getting fourth in the race, third in my class. And the front two guys were gone and I knew I had no chance of getting them so I didn't really push the issue to try to get the guy that was right in front of me because I knew he wasn't in my class. So I ended up finishing in third in that race and wasn't very happy with him. So then after that I quickly went and got a drink and then went right back to the gate because the 250A moto was right after that and so um, there's a pretty big name guy that's known very well in the community, Trevor Rahr and I've rode against him before, I've never raced him but I knew he was very fast and he would be very hard to beat. I also knew that he raced A class in D14, which means he is the real deal. <laughs> he got a better start than me, which I kind of expected because he has a whole shot of dice and I didn't, so it just gives you an advantage. He actually ended up going off from the track and I saw an opportunity, so I went up the inside, actually got in front of him and was able to hold that spot as you can see on the screen right now. I almost got landed on because I overjumped the double, so I didn't go for the triple. So that was pretty sketchy, got my heart rate going quite a bit. It took him less than a lap to get around me because I was still pumped up, I was still tired, especially since I had just raced. So I, once he got past me, I didn't have anything for him, so I just kind of backed down a little bit, just made sure I stayed in front of the B-class guys and just rode the rest of the race. It was pretty boring. And then after that, I had a pretty long break until the next moto, which would be 14 plus moto 2. And obviously by that point it had gotten dark, the lights came on, so it added that new uh, feel to it. And I started feeling a lot better. Um, my nerves weren't there. I already felt like I had blown the day, so I didn't really care. I was just out there to have fun, and that ended up reflecting in my riding. Um, I got an okay start, but I was able to pass a few guys, and I ended up in second place behind one of the guys that had beat me in the first moto. The guy that had won the first 14 plus moto, he actually didn't show up for the second one. I'm not sure if he had crashed in one of his other classes or something, but he wasn't there, so it was just me and this KTM. And I kind of expected him to pull out a little bit because they pulled out so much in the first moto, but I was actually able to keep up with him and close in on him and uh, almost had a bit of a battle there, but I just ran out of time and I wasn't able to put in a final push. But yeah, I was pretty happy with how that moto turned out compared to the first two, and I was really looking forward to my second 250A moto, which of course I had to go grab a drink and then I was ready to go line up again. Um, I ended up lining up right next to Trevor because I figured he would get a good start. I wanted to try to follow him around. I actually got beat to the, to the corner by a couple B guys, um, but I was able to get around them pretty quickly and then I was right behind Trevor I was able to stick really close to him for the first lap or so and I actually got really close as in almost t-boning him I was trying to just show a wheel I didn't realize how close I'd gotten until I watched the video back so I felt like I needed to apologize to him for that after that I kind of lost touch just a little bit I actually had a moment over the double where I over jumped it and my right hand came off the bars that kind of scared me so I toned it down from that and about half a lap later Trevor went to the outside in a corner to avoid a lapper and made a big mistake. So if I would have stayed on it I might have had a chance to get around him, but who knows. So I was a little bummed about that but I was still really happy I was able to keep him in sight and keep him right there the whole entire race. And the races are only four laps it went by really quick but I was pretty happy with how I rode in those second motos. So yeah, I can't wait for the next round. We're going to go give it another try. Hopefully those nerves aren't there and I'm able to just block out the other guys and focus on myself and how I know that I can ride. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for checking out the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.